Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 11 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Olivia has got two gallons, three quarts of vanilla ice cream. We've got one gallon and two quarts of chocolate ice cream left over from the party. So we need the total number that's, let's just know we're going to need to add there. Total number of gallons and quarts of ice cream that Olivia has left over. Well, I wonder if we could just maybe add them up like we've got two gallons and three quarts so we put qt and then we've got one gallon and two quarts and what happens if we just do this we just two and three is five quarts and two and one is three gallons well it looks looks that easy and C has kind of got that reverse but I don't really see that answer over there so obviously it's not going to be that easy. So while this is technically a correct answer it's not the best way to represent this quantity. Let's go back and let's understand one thing that we need to know. Four quarts equals one gallon. Easy way to think of that is four quarters equals a dollar four quarts equals one gallon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw some gallons. And so I'm going to do this right here. And this is going to represent, watch this, my vanilla ice cream. And you'll see it in just a second. So my vanilla has got two quarts. Sorry, that's two gallons three quarts, and this is vanilla. So I'm just going to shade in what I've got here. So there's my one gallon, my two gallons. I'm using these squares to represent an entire gallon. And this is also a gallon, but you notice that this last one has only got three quarts because it takes four quarts to make a gallon. So what I did is I took my gallon, cut it up into four parts, and I'm shading in three of them. That's my three out of the four quarts needed to make a gallon. Let's do the same thing here for my chocolate. So my chocolate is going to have one gallon. And it is going to have two quarts. So not nearly as much as the other. Still cut it in fourths because it still takes four quarts to make a gallon. And this is my one gallon, two quart of chocolate. And all we need to do is add them up. It doesn't matter that one's chocolate, one's vanilla. We're going to put them all together here. And as you can see, this is, here's my three gallons, like I said. And if I'm just counting my quarts individually, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So there's my five quarts. But we need to look at this in a way of regrouping, right? So if we were going to, let's say we were going to add 29 and 42. What we wouldn't do is we wouldn't say, well, 9 and 2 is 11, 4 and 2 is 6, right? That's, that's wrong all over the place. What we do is we know that once we hit a 10, we actually have to regroup. And it's that same thing here with this conversion. Once we hit four quarts, we can actually regroup it into a gallon. So what if we took one of these quarts here, and we just moved it up here, and we used it to fill in that empty quart spot. Now look what I've got. I've got an extra gallon. I've got one, two, three, four gallons. And then I've only got this one little quart left. Right? So four gallons in one quart. That's the way we can represent this answer. It is B.